into the ditch. I'm your resident ditch witch, Tara Tyne, and we're about to get witchy, whether you like it or not. So I can finally reveal where it is that I'm going for a couple of days. I'm going to Amsterdam. What I'm not gonna tell you just yet is why. I've just arrived into Dublin airport, as you can see. It's super festive. Look, there's Christmas trees and everything. Now, I haven't actually been out of the country by myself in several years. So I am a little bit nervous, not too sure how airports work these days, but I'm here with plenty of spare time. So I'm gonna make my way through all of the, the things now and I'll catch up with you again in departures. Yeah, they're using Irish women in mythology to advertise Skoda cars. I don't know, and I nearly fell off the travelator trying to film it. So I got a pint to eat, I found a nice, quiet, safe place to sit down and relax until it's time for my flight, and I've got three Dublin plays by Sean O'Casey to keep me company, so see you on the other side. I've actually made it folks. I'm at the Alfred Hotel, which is just a few minutes away from Museum Spline. That's a bit of a clue as to what I'm doing. I am not going to give it away just yet because I've just had a salami pizza delivered to my room. I'm going to eat that really quickly and then I'm going to head out in the town and meet with my hosts for the weekend. Yes, I'm not just here for the crack. I have been invited for the launch of a project which I'm involved in that has been in the works for the better part of the last year and it's it's really exciting. Like, it's massive, okay? I'm dying to tell you, but I'm not sure just yet exactly how much I'm allowed to say until the actual night of the launch. There was a press launch today, so I think it's pretty much ready to go, but it's not actually going to be in the papers here until tomorrow. So I think I'd rather just bring you along for the excitement of what's actually happening. Yeah, I'm gonna bring my camera, I'm gonna film the whole lot. I have asked permission to do that. I've been told that that is fine. I think it's safe enough to tell you that it's happening at the Stedelike Museum. But for now, I have to go eat my pizza and I'm looking a little bit worse for wear, so I'm gonna go fix myself up. You can imagine there's gonna have to be some refreshments had. I've also had quite a long day of traveling, so I'm totally on board for that. <laughs> if I get a chance to film later, I will. But either way, I'll see you later on. Everybody just say hi! You told me this is one of the oldest pubs in Amsterdam. Yeah, it's one of the oldest pubs in the area. It's one of the, it's a very Like this pub. is the most Dutch authentic thing you as can Dutch get. As Dutch as it gets. It's yeah. Cool. Give me a wave. Hey! finally are at the night of the launch and I can finally reveal to you what's been going on behind the scenes this last year. So a few months back I was approached by an Irish artist named Sean Hannan. He wanted me to take part in a project, an art project, that was all about Hishogs and curses in the Irish tradition. He'd seen my videos on YouTube and he felt that I was really the right fit for the project, having a bit of an artistic background myself and he was looking for somebody to collaborate with him. So that's exactly what I've done. I was also very excited to hear that the one and only Eddie Lenehan was also involved in the project. It's a bit of a dream come true for me to have a piece that I've been involved in exhibited in the same place where you can see work by some of my favorite artists like Van Gogh, Picasso, Chagall, Matisse, Andy Warhol, and Jackson Pollock. And I've been pinching myself, to be honest. A little bit afraid I'm gonna wake up and find out it was all a dream any minute now. <laughs> so 
So I'll take you inside for a little look now, but I just want to say thanks to Sean, thanks to all of you for watching and for helping me to build the profile of this channel so that opportunities like this can become more accessible to an unknown YouTuber and artist like myself. And all I had to do was put a curse on an egg. Well, and some other stuff, but that was minor details. But anyway, let's go inside and see the exhibition. Our Amsterdam Biennial every two years at the Stadium Museum and today we are proud to open this year's version with a fantastic title When Things Are Beings. This shows whether an open business becomes the source of suspicion among neighbors. Now, I've heard many, many, many stories of that kind of suspicion. And it, it, it was very destructive for communities because people very often had the suspicion it was that person. And very often, an old woman. Because whether well, people like to believe it or not, it was mainly women. enjoyed this first installment of my trip to Amsterdam half as much as I did. Be sure to tune in next Thursday when I'll be visiting the home of some Black Plague Botanicals as well as the Amsterdam Torture Museum. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, it's a free way to support this channel as well as making sure you never miss a video from me. Lastly, I'd like to say a massive thanks to Sean for giving me the opportunity to collaborate on such an inspiring piece, as well as to Beate, Esther and Carol for making my trip so very wonderful. So until part two of this witchy adventure, it's Slán Agus Bannacht, goodbye and good luck to you.